Hello everyone, my name is Shubham Dubey and today I am going to tell you what types of questions are asked in NATA, Mathematics and Aptitude. So when I say these two keywords that is Mathematics and Aptitude, so you should understand the difference between the two. When I say Mathematics, so its questions are from class 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. Majorly the questions are from 9th and 10th but you should also be prepared from selected topics of 11th and 12th. When it comes to aptitude, so I should be saying in aptitude you are asked verbal reasoning and you are asked non-verbal reasoning. Now let us have a look at the types of questions that we can see. So this is the very first question which is from AP and this is given in your 10th class of NCRT mathematics. The question second is from the surface area volume chapter and you can also get that chapter from NCRT mathematics in 9th and 10th. While the third question is of again surface area and volume, the fourth one is from surface area and volume, fifth one is also from surface area and volume. So you can see that how much weight is your this particular chapter surface area and volume contains. While the question sixth is from number system Again, the, the question number seven is from trigonometry. So this is the new topic that we have got here is trigonometry. So how, how many topics that we have got as of now in a mathematics? One is arithmetic progression. The second is surface area and volume. The third is number system. And the fourth one is trigonometry. The most weightage is given to surface area and volume. Again, the trigonometry question, it, is, it also contains weightage. Now this question is from class 11th year or class 12th that is integration. So the very basic level of question you can see that is asked in integration. Then it is based on the property of log your next question. Again one question is from surface area and volume. The next question that is the question number 12 it is from it is from differentiation. Again based on the property of log you are asked this question. Again this question from integration that is area under the curve so basic a very basic question from area under the curve has been asked from this this question that is the question number 50 is based on your average that is a class 9 topic 8th or 9 topic where this question belongs to your aptitude part i would say i would not con uh, uh, consider this question from mathematics that is from 9 10th 11 12th but instead it is from class 8 that's why it is it, you can keep it this in aptitude now when it comes to question number 16 so the number of straight lines that can be formed by joining 20 points of which four points are collinear so you can see that this question is from the permutation and combination so very basic question of class 11th again the next question is of class 11th or 12th that is the determinant so you can see that very basic questions are being asked in from 11th and 12th the next question is of probability then if you I observe the next question as well. So this is also of probability. The next question is of matrices and determinant. That is question number 20. Now if this was about mathematics portion. Now when it comes to non-verbal reasoning. So there are different from different topics. A vast range of questions you can see in non-verbal reasoning. For example you have this question where you have to add two figures. And you have to tell this, uh, what the resulted figure will look like. In this figure you have you can see that this is also another question in this question you are asked about a famous logo so if you join all the figures in a particular shape what type of logo will you be getting this is another question again from the non-verbal reasoning you can see that the what alphabets it are look like it is similar to this then there is another question from the non-verbal reasoning part so I hope you must be getting the variety of question that you can solve in this particular chapter, in this particular paper. Have a look at this friends. This is again, this question is from surface area and volume. You have to find the area of the shaded region, region if I'm not wrong. Yes, you have to find the same. So this is the question from surface area and volume. Now this is one of the questions from verbal reasoning that what the question reads in a row of boys uh, 
if a a is who is 10th from the left and b who is 9th from the right interchange their positions so this is again the question from verbal reasoning part then this question is of orthographic projection now this is something we knew which we are seeing as compared to our previous non verbal reasoning question so this is question based on orth orthographic projection you, where you will have to see the top view the front view right, and the side view again a non verbal reasoning question this is again a non verbal reasoning question in this region you have to find out the area of the base so it is again a, a tricky one but at the same time an easy one as well where you have to find area so again this is from the surface area and volume this is from the non verbal reasoning part then you can see that it is this question is somewhat different that you hardly see in your uh, 11 12th or 9th 10th book so this is something different that i will be helping you how to represent any binary number in decimal format or vice versa so you sh do should not be worrying that in the upcoming session i will be going live where i will be solving all these question that you can see here and where i will be telling you also telling you the approach where you can understand how we can solve a particular type of question so this was all about from my side that you can observe that so variety of questions that you can see and stay tuned for the live se session where i will be solving these questions for you so thank you everyone have a nice day